So what's up everyone? Welcome back to your channel, Brighter Life Institute. I am Alicia. I want to talk to you today about the benefit to stop dating and stop having sex. For some people that have been having some relationship problem after relationship problem, some may feel like this was that person. They were wrong for me. Or I'm going to meet another person. And you go on and you have another problem, another breakup, another relationship that it doesn't work out. There is a time where taking fully 100% of responsibility of the failure of her intimate romantic relationship may serve us good. Not that we put all the blame into herself, but we recognize that maybe we need to take herself out of this game for some time. So we can reinvent herself. We can renew her energy and we can take time with yourself to find out really who we are. What is it that we want? And a good thing as well during this procedure is to look deeper and closely. What went wrong in those romantic relationships? Every connection teaches us something, as the person that we meet is very much a teacher and a reflection of herself. Sometimes those people that we meet reflect a broken self of us that we need to repair something in us that we are seeking for, that we are not really aware of until we get to the situation. There is a great benefit to stop dating. The reality that I have learned now at age 45 years old is when you are young, you truly believe that there is a great catch out there, that things didn't work with this one, but you're going to meet thousands and many people that you're going to have a great connection with. When you age, you discover the reality that connecting with somebody is rare that it's easy to meet somebody to get the spark the interest going when things start but then you may not have this mind connection with the person this understanding this communication and sometimes the connection with the person was very sexual, very attraction. For it later, when you enter the relationship seriously with them, for all this sexual attraction to fall apart, to disappear and leaving you confused if that even existed, that first chapter of your story. Removing yourself from the dating game in the goal to focus on you, in the goal to better yourself and become the best version of yourself is essential. The reality is the best and the most important relationship 
that you need to cultivate is with yourself. Another person has no ability, no power to make you deeply happy to your soul. Some people are going from relationship to relationship in a curse to find this peace, this healing and this connection in themselves. This sort of healing and peace cannot be found with another human being. It only can be found with yourself. One of the parts that you need to connect with for those that suffer as a child neglected, parentified, is with your inner child. Many people think they know themselves, think to know what they want. But after failure of relationship to relationship, they realize they really don't know who they are. They don't even know what they want. And many discover the truth that the only reason they really got with certain people is because they wanted to ease a pain. They didn't want to be alone. They didn't want to be faced with the old pain that they know too well of rejection, feeling unloved by another. Most of the time, they convince themselves that they are in love with that person. But they are not in love with that person. They are starving. They are drug addict. They will take anything and hit anything they can find as they are starving to find and get anything. By removing yourself from the dating game and taking the time to enjoy your life fully, you renew your energy. You can only attract what you are. If you, the real you, deep inside, is not happy, do not think that you can fraud the universe to make it believe that you are going to meet a great person that's going to lift your life, lift your mood, and make you feel good with yourself, feel loved. Because this is also the truth. Most of us get with somebody else, not because we love them so much, it's because they make us feel good with ourselves. Stay with me for a minute with this line. You are dating somebody else, not just because you love them, but you're dating them because they make you feel good with who you are. They bring peace to you. You feel good with them in their presence, no matter where you go with them and what you do with them. The best is when you feel great with somebody and you can talk for hours about anything. That is rare. For some of you that do not know what's rare, this here, to be with somebody in a simple place and you feel like you are on top of the world and you can talk about anything for hours with that person. You cannot stop talking and the more you talk to them, the more you desire them, the more you admire them, the more both of you feeling good with each other company. That is rare. That money cannot buy. Removing yourself from the dating game give you new this space to heal what you need to heal. To have a very good relationship with yourself. If you have a very good relationship with yourself, it's unlikely that you will allow anyone to come to your life and mistreat you and bring in some BS. You will be so sensitive on how bad somebody treats you that you will not tolerate anything of low level a low standard. Stop having sex. Stop having this goal of sex. Sex has two sides. 
in it. One of its is the lure. There is a dark side with the sex, the sexual energy wanting sex with somebody that you just met. It was said that the more you feel instant sexual hot burning feeling and desire for somebody that you just met, the more likely this person going to make you suffer. It's a red flag that many do not recognize to be, especially not men. Sex as a mansion has two sides in it, the good, the bad. The good side of sex is its rebirth, is life. If you take the time to heal yourself, to know yourself, as a full healing will involve to be with somebody else, alone with yourself. When you find peace and you're comfortable by yourself, you may feel good. And then you realize that when you go out there, you get set off very easily. Take the time to first be okay with you. Then you have to go out there because the real challenge is to deal with other people, not just romantically, if you know what I mean. And you need to control your sexual starvation. Sex is good, but there are a lot of problems that sex can bring. If you mingle with the wrong person, you may get a shawl with the person and it's going to be hell for you for life. You may get a disease. Some people can bring in you STD. Some people can bring you the pain they have in them and to you as energy is transferable and nothing transfer pain, mental illness faster than sexing, having sex with somebody that is broken. Let me say something about people that are broken. Stop surrounding yourself of people that you want to fix and people that are broken that has nothing to bring you. Put a worth into yourself. If you do, you won't get too easily in a relationship with anyone and especially not with the one that you feel so sexually attracted about. Some of you, when you take the time to remove yourself from this dating and this sex need, sex starvation, and then you go out there again, you will prioritize what is really important as a quality in a person than in the luring attraction, desire, the mask of passion. Don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. If the connection is real, then more likely this passion and this wave of desire are going to be intense. But be very careful when intense desire, sexual intense desire happen instantly when you meet somebody. This is a red flag. You are basically meeting the worst side of those that have bring the biggest pain to you in that moment. More likely you're meeting the darker side of your parents in that person and you are going to suffer. Be very observant and it is time for many people to learn to read people. Learn to read and identify the character and the personality of a person. Don't just look at their job, their smile, how much money they make, their car, their home, how good they look. Look at their personality. There are 
certain things that doesn't lie. For myself, I must recognize that some people have reported that I can be tempered and impatient. And I reflected on that, and that's the thing is good when you remove yourself from dating. And if you are an honest person that wants to develop for the best, you start to analyze the feedback that you get from the people, especially from ex-partner. For myself, I knew what the source was. When I get short-tempered, I felt I didn't get the support of the person that I was with that they were making excuses about certain things. And for me, it was the obvious that they were doing that. So I didn't want to bother. But we need to give credit to the people. And when it's a romantic partner, to discuss things. And that's the most important thing that I discovered at age 45. The importance to be with a partner you can talk with. This is the most important thing, as you need to discuss, and also one of the most important things in a romantic partner is to be friends. You are best friends before you are lover. So this means you have, you got each other back. You got compassion for each other. As some people, as soon you fall short of the expectation they have of you, they let go of you. You're not good anymore. They start to look around for the wrong placement. But when you are best friend, you give yourself some slack. You laugh at each other, you know, short fall. You find solution. You accompany each other in your path. You're patient. You're tolerant, you're forgiving. Unforgiven partner are people that don't really care about you. They expect perfection and they're not perfect themselves. And they just came to your life to just take what you have. They're not interested by your person. All of this become clear as a guideline for you of your self-worth when you take the time to remove yourself from the dating games and you slow down this sexual impulse desire that is really steamed from loneliness. Loneliness are pushing many people out there to hit whatever they can find. The meal is not really what they wanted. It's not perfect. And we don't say we want the perfection. But they did not look deeper into it. They didn't really want this. They don't even like it, but they hate it. Because they feel lonely. Some people take this meal right now, this person right now, in the intention that for the moment I take you until I find something better. That is bad intention your intention at the start of a relationship your mindset and what is it that really your intention is set up the reality to come if you have bad intention it will backfire as likely you can only attract what you are like attract like so what make you believe that the one that you are with, that you believe like, oh, I'm just going to use you for now until I find something better, is not thinking the same. This is disaster. Be very careful. Sexual exchange is sexual exchange of energy. Whatever the problem is in their life and the pain they have in their life will be transmitted to you. Not just the fluid, not just the love making. Their problem, their toxicity, their mental health and the rest, their bad luck, their curse will be put into you. So think very carefully before you go bedding with somebody. 
I take also this advice for myself. So, I hope that this video are going to bring you some insight. There is a dark side in dating, a deep dark side in having sex when we don't feel okay with ourselves. May feel good in a moment, but it may not build and create a long term peace. It may, in the long run, bring the worst nightmare of your life. So, I thank you today to have watched your channel, Brighter Life Institute, with me, Alicia. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.